This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Dancing with the Stars, the reality show that will not die. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So we're back with our annual Dancing with the Stars predictions. But Actually, first... Actually, they're biannual because it's twice a year. Oh, that's true. But first, let's cover how we did on the Oscars. Which is annual. Yes. Starting with Best Supporting Actor and Actress. So on Supporting Actor, uh, we both went with Stallone. But and nobody in the Academy apparently did. <laughs> no, because it was Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies. Mm-hmm. Supporting Actress... Uh, I went with Alicia Vikander, and you went with Kate Winslet. You were right. And it was Alicia Vikander for Danish Girl. Best animated feature. We both went with Inside Out. Yeah. And that was the yeah, winner. That, that was that was a gimme. Yeah. Best original song. Uh, you went with Earned It. Yeah. And I went with, with Writings on the Wall. And you got it. And yeah. that was Writings on the mm-hmm. Wall from Spectre. Spectre. Although, frankly, I thought that other one that Lady Gaga did yeah. was actually a much better song once I actually heard it. Best Director. Uh, I went with George Miller. And you with went with Inaratu. I got that one. And you got Woo-hoo! that one. Best Actor and Actress. We went uh, with uh, Actor. Leonardo DiCaprio for The Revenants, and that was right for both of us. Yeah. And then actress, Brie Brie Larson, Larson. was, in fact, the winner. We both went with her. Best picture, we both went with The Revenant, and and we were both wrong. Yeah. Because it was, in fact, Spotlight. Spotlight. Which is kind of weird, because a lot of times director and picture go hand in hand. Right. And a lot of people didn't think Spotlight was going to be the winner, because... It was winning awards mostly from uh, journalism journalists, groups. Journalism groups. And it's a story about journalism. Yes, hence, yeah. you know, they'd have a bias. Yes. There you go. So, final score there uh, Mindy four and myself five. Yeah, well. Just squeaked by. So, on to Dancing with the Stars. We are taping this before the season begins. We promise. Yes, we are. Yeah. But this will air after, I think, actually the second episode. So maybe after the first elimination. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Right. As we've discussed before, the show has come up with several check boxes and their casting has become pretty obvious. You have athletes. You have a Disney star mm-hmm. for Synergy. Mm-hmm. You have an ABC soap star yeah. sometimes for Synergy. You have reality show stars. Mm -hmm. You have a controversial star. (laughs) You have a comeback star for nostalgia purposes. And one or more ringers. And then finally, a new one, disabled. Right. Well, new in that it's been like five years. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's now become a a category, pretty much. Mm -hmm. We also have pros coming and going. Mm -hmm. Coming in, Edita, who has not been on the show for several years. Yep. Artem, Pita, and Sasha Mm -hmm. are coming back. And then out is Anna, Emma, Allison, and Derek. Yay! Maybe someone else could win for once. Mm. (laughs) And Len is back as a judge. So maybe we'll see some actual ballroom dancing this season. And if we don't, I may be out. (laughs) And Julianne Huff is out as a judge. Also, yay. Yeah. So there's no Huff at all, huh? No, zero Huff. (laughs) So here are the pairings and the predictions. Now, my theory on this is the first half of the season is pretty much based on skill. Like you get rid of all the bad people. Right. And then the second half is based on mostly popularity, mostly of the pros, because... Unless unless it's a really... Somebody who's really popular for something that has a rabid fan base. Right. Yeah. So, we begin with Misha Barton... Uh, who's partnered up with pro Artem Chignizev. And uh, he is, has had zero wins, zero second place, zero third place. Has never win placed or showed. Uh, she's known for the OC. Mm-hmm. And uh, I put her about in the middle of the pack, number six. Yeah, she's one of those cute young actresses. She could pull off a three, I think. So, I don't know. I, I just I don't even know. I kind of yeah. random. Yeah. Uh, Niall DeMarco, who's matched up with Peter Murgatroyd, and she's had one win. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's basically a deaf model. He was on uh, America's Tech Next Top Model and things like that. Mm-hmm. And we both 
put them in the middle. Yeah. Uh, I said fifth place. You said, said sixth, sixth place. I, I'm hearkening back to when they had uh, Marley Matlin on the show. Right. You know, and she did okay. But when it came to the more advanced things and you can't really, you know, get the musicality in. It all depends on how much ballroom dancing we see. If we actually see, like, waltzes, there's not enough of a beat for him to be able to feel, mm -hmm. you know, an actual beat to go through. And he can't. He won't possibly be able to do it. Antonio Brown matched up with Sharna Burgess, who has uh, had a second place and a third place win. Mm -hmm. He's known for being in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, I put him actually fairly high on, as number four, and you fairly low, number nine. I got burned by football players last time. <laughs> well, I figured one of the football players had to do fairly well. I, I think well. I t picked a different football player to do well. Yeah. <laughs> There are three football players. Three football players. I, yeah, that, 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 that's a lot. We have Kim Fields, who's uh, matched up with Sasha Farber. This is his first year as an actual pro. He's been in the troupe before. Mm -hmm. And she's known for the TV show Facts of Life. Well, and uh, so, some other show, too, that she did as an older adult. Yeah, but mostly And also, <laughs> she's she's apparently uh, been directing a lot. Oh, okay. So. Well, and we both put her at the same spot. Pretty low, yeah. number 10. Yeah. Doug Flutie, who's matched up with Karina Smirnoff, who's won once, second place twice, third place once. He's known for another NFL player. But he's old. He's older, yes. And uh, I put him in eighth place. You put him all the way down in 11th yes, place. Yes, I think he's too old. Okay. Because, you know... No offense, football players, but, you know, a lot of you older football players are starting to get a little bit, you know. Right. And you won't be able to remember the moves. Yeah, yeah. Marla Maples, and uh, she is matched up with Tony Davalani, who's won once and had third place twice. She's mostly known for being the ex-wife of Donald Trump. But she's also done some Broadway. Yeah, but I looked it up, and it wasn't like dancing Broadway. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Necessarily. So, which is why I put her in the very last position. You put her in the middle of the pack, number yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah. It all depends on how many Trump fans <laughs> are out there voting. Well, and how many, well, and how many people who really hate Trump are yeah, voting. Yeah, or also voting, yes. <laughs> just to vote against her. Well, or to vote for her because she got away from him. Well, yeah, there's <laughs> lots of ways to go here. Vaughn Miller, who's partnered up with Whitney Carson, who has won once. And he is the Super Bowl MVP. And this is the football player I put up there. Because of Whitney, too, um, I boosted him up to, to... And because there are so many of these, you know, like, girl ones that I think would do really good, this is the the boy I picked to finish okay. at the top. So he, I put him at number two. And I put him at number three. Mm -hmm. Wanya Morris, who's matched up with Lindsay Arnold, who has had third place once. Mm -hmm. And he's known for the group Boys to Men. And we're pretty much in the same position. I picked uh, slot nine. Mm -hmm. You picked slot eight. Yep. Gerardo Rivera, eh, who's matched up with Edita Slavinska, who has had second place once and third place once and has not, again, been on the show for several years. And he's known for news. News. Uh, he's also age 72. I put him last. I can't understand why you think he's going to last a week. Well, I don't know. I, I think mostly for Edita, because they want to see Edita for another week. Oh, that could be. That's But otherwise, yeah. Yeah, otherwise, if it was anybody else, he'd probably be in last position. I put him in 11th position. Jody Sweeten, who's known for Fuller House, yeah. is matched up with Keo Botseppi, who has not win, placed, or showed yet, and generally does very poorly. Yeah. And so we both put them in the in the middle of the pack. I'm assuming mostly due to the whole Fuller House yeah. uh, mm -hmm. fan base. Yeah. And I said seventh place. You said fifth place. Yeah. All right. Paige Van Zant, who's Mark, who's matched up with Mark Ballas, uh, and that is he's won twice. He's uh, second place twice and third place three times. She's known for being an MMA fighter. Oh, by the way, she danced for 13 years. Her parents owned a dance studio. That's the She's ringer for win. this episode. Yeah. She's going to win unless yes. Mark does something to screw up. Yes, to the point of annoying Len yeah. at, at a critical point during during the schedule or if she gets injured. Yes. Okay. Other, but, but like um, 
you know, she is an MMA fighter, so she's used to a little pain. So right. she could theoretically yeah. work through that if she yeah. is injured. I think But so. if she's injured badly, then obviously they wouldn't want her to continue. Right. So we're both placing them as number one. Mm -hmm. And then Ginger Z, who's matched up with Val Shemirkovsky, who has won once, second place once, and third place two times. She is the GMA weather girl. And this is the first time that we've had someone directly from ABC News, I believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so there's your synergy there. Uh, I put her very high in second slot, and you picked her in fourth slot. And I, the only reason that I put her in fourth rather than higher, because I do think she'll stick around for a long time, yeah. is because she did just have a baby. There is that. I mean, like just, like yeah, within yeah, three lit, months ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was very, yes. very short time ago. So, yeah. <laughs> she'll be she'll be off, you know, taking care of the baby half the time. Right. So, I guess we'll be watching Dancing with the Stars when it's on. <laughs> In the meantime, not not play. as not as enthusiastic anymore, huh? If they were ballroom dancing, yep. I'd be perfectly and they, If they happy. were actual stars, it would help too. Yes. <laughs> So meantime, while I'm busy complaining about Dancing with the Stars, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.